Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Friday, December 23rd, 2016. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to CADEX TV. There will be no broadcast on Monday, December 26th. The next broadcast will be Tuesday, December 27th. Uh, an Airbus A320 airplane has been hijacked. The plane is an Africaia Airways plane. It's a Libyan carrier. The flight had been uh, scheduled to go from the uh, Libyan town of Saba to Tripoli. There are 118 people on board when two men, apparently armed with hand grenades, diverted the flight to the island of Malta. The plane is now at the Malta International Airport at Valletta, Malta, the capital. Uh, the airport has been closed to all other traffic. The engines are still running on the plane, and apparently there are negotiations going on between uh, Malta, Maltese authorities uh, and the uh, two uh, hijackers on the plane. It is suspected from uh, information that has been being monitored by uh, publicly available channels uh, that the hijackers are uh, Qaddafi sympathizers. Meanwhile, just outside of Milan in Italy, the focus of a uh, European-wide manhunt uh, Anis Amri, uh, the man thought to be the driver of the truck that plowed into the uh, Christmas market in Berlin just this past Monday, killing 12 people, has himself been shot dead by Italian police. At a 3 a.m. routine traffic stop uh, asking for identification uh, outside of Milan, Amri uh, began to uh, open fire, wounding one police officer. He was promptly killed by the other officer. Italian police confirmed that it is indeed the uh, perpetrator. They have matched his identification via fingerprints. Meanwhile, in Accra, in Ghana, on the west coast of Africa, at about 5.30 p.m. last evening, a gas tanker was refueling uh, an underground gas station uh, tank when an explosion of some sort occurred near the International Trade Fair Center in the Ghana capital. Nine people were killed, 12 others were seriously injured. Uh, Ghanaian authorities are referring to the accident as having been caused by, quote, irresponsible human error. In Melbourne, Australia, the Australian Prime Minister says that police have disrupted uh, the biggest planned terror attack in recent years. Apparently, uh, police arrested five men who were planning a series of Christmas Day terror attacks in Australia's second largest city of Melbourne. The men had been planning to use explosive guns and knives. The uh, men were apparently inspired by ISIS and had been working on the plot for some three weeks. CNA Insurance, according to the uh, Insurance Insider, has now confirmed that they have let some 170 people uh, go in the United States uh, over the past one month. This brings 2016 layoffs to a total of 350 people, or about 5% of their total U.S. workforce of 6,900. CNA recently uh, announced that Dino Robusto, who comes from Chubb, is going to be the new CEO and chairman of the board of the company. It's also understood that the cuts are being implemented after a review of the company's operation by Boston Consulting Group. And meanwhile, in the race to uh, get as many deals done before President Trump becomes president, the Iranians and Airbus announced this morning that Airbus now has agreed to a deal which could be worth as much as $10 billion to supply 100 jets to Iran Air. Iran Air, of course, has uh, basically been falling apart because of uh, years of sanctions. They can't get spare parts and they're flying very old planes. Uh, two weeks ago, Iran announced that they had agreed to a deal to buy 80 Boeing jets, and the deal announced this morning from Airbus for the 100 planes will include 46 Airbus 320s, 38 A330s, and 16 Airbus 350s. Both deals go through. Iran Air will have one of the most modern fleets in the world. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. If not, we will see you on Tuesday, December 27th, and we wish you a very happy holiday. Thank you for watching.